Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be playing with this, the um, red carpet dip um, system. Um, I got this uh, at Ulta in, when I was in on holiday in the USA. And uh, I saw they had the complete kits, but I never buy a complete kit because I feel like I don't need everything that's in there. All I need is a base coat, an activator and a dip powder because I love to top coat just with um, UV gel top coats or just normal um, uh, polish, nail polish top coats because uh, I feel like the whole thing, after you use the activator, you're supposed to use the base coat again. It might ruin this brush and you have to put on the activator and use the top coat, which we ruin the top coat brush. And that's why they sell the brush shaver. And I just don't do anything of that. After I'm done using the base coat, I will use the activator and not use anything else again uh, until I, it's time for a top coat so that's just those are just my thoughts on that um, I know some people love to use their top coat system but uh, you know for me it's just it's easier to just use a UV gel um, I, I already started prepping my nail we're gonna keep them very very short today um, after I had these very very long nails last week I'm just like Let's keep it short. <laughs> um, so this, um, like I said, I have the basic activator and a dip uh, powder. This is a cream color and kind of ironic cocktail party time. Well, right now, of course, depending on when you're watching this, but right now all parties have been banned, so let's just not do that. Um, so yeah. Uh, the prepping. All I do is uh, push back my cuticles and I do use a metal tool for that. Let's see if I can zoom you in without going out of frame, which is always a struggle for me. And I do notice that when I'm filming and filing, I don't file the way I file when it's when I'm not trying to film it. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. So I'm gonna try to do this as I would um, if um, uh, if there's no camera around because you're just kind of like you have to bend over to see what you're doing and stuff and when you're not filming you can just put your finger nail in your face so okay um, I'm gonna shave them a little But they are very short there, so there's not a whole lot to uh, foul or shape. And I'm gonna do the. It's oh, really hard to do. But this is what I do usually. It's the same uh, way the, uh, if you've ever watched her channel, um, Tammy Taylor files the nails exactly the same way. And just get a nail brush, wipe most of it off. And now I'm gonna use a alcohol spray. wiping even more off and that's what it looks like and um, I am going to use uh, a dehydrator again before I start applying this because you know I'm just uh, it just helps against lifting so any de dehydrator you have uh, will be just fine um, but I do not use a primer uh, with the dip system, just so you know. It's, uh, I don't think it really helps. It's, uh, primers are always uh, 
made for gel and acrylic and never for um, dip systems and if you do get a uh, a prep or a prime or whatever at a dip kit it's always just a dehydrator so <clears throat> sorry losing my voice okay so um, I'm just gonna quickly prep all my nails uh, off camera and um, let's uh, get it finally get into the dipping because it's been way too long already okay I'm all ready um, something funny even though the packaging uh, was exactly the same the bottles are not um, so the activator has a much taller um, brush handle which is not something I noticed in the videos I watched so let's see if okay this looks good this is an excellent shape and well yeah this looks good as well okay okay I was kind of worried for a second oh I imagined I had to remove something but it's um, not so there is a nice space in there so you can just you know safely dip without it spilling everywhere so it looks very very bright pink which I don't mind at all okay what did I just say um, applying another coat of the dehydrator before we get into this Now, I've seen very, very mixed reviews online on the videos that I watched, but not all of the ladies um, had done dip kits before, so, you know, I'm not really sure, but uh, we'll see. Okay, here we go. This applies very, very nice and thin. Hmm. What I also saw a lot of ladies do, like, go in there with a brush or anything, like right away. It's just not something I do. I just continue on and when I'm at the tent nail, I feel it's safe to remove the excess powder or something. Just let it be for a minute. Act like it's a um, regular nail polish. That will help. <laughs> Applies very, very nice and thin. Actually quite impressed so far and the powder feels so soft. Very, very nice. I did read that this was a two coat system, so... Um, as most uh, dip systems are. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly do all these nails and check back in with you guys before we remove the excess.
Okay guys, first coat is done. So now I'm just gonna really, really softly just remove the excess powder, which is also something I saw a lot of people do. Just, oh God, hold on. Sorry guys. Um, I was saying something. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I really don't remember what I was saying. I'm very, very sorry. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I saw a lot of people just, you know, going back in with the base coat, like right on top of this, like where the excess powder was not removed. And the, of course, the brush is clogged up and stuff. So if you've never done this before, I just want to mention that, don't do that. <laughs> it will uh, ruin your brushes and maybe even ruin your nails and uh, yeah, that's not what you want. So this removes actually quite nice. And it looks very much full coverage already. Yeah, looks very nice. Now there is always going to be like powder everywhere when you do this. It's just... That's just the way it goes. <laughs> but yeah. So far not really getting all the negative reviews but we're not there yet we're not done so it might change um so now i am gonna do the second coat oh that's funny look at that okay um and hopefully i did a good enough job of removing all the powder and uh, I mean I don't mind if the brush gets a little pink as long as it doesn't clog up yeah okay this powder is so soft it's very 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 fine very nice Again, now it looks like a mess, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I remove all the excess powder, it's going to look perfect. So I'm just going to do the uh, uh, second coat on all the nails. Okay guys, so now that most of the uh, excess powder is removed, I'm gonna apply the uh, activator. 
and give it a couple minutes. And uh, once the activator is, you know, totally set and the needles have cured, um, I'm just going to be washing my hands because there's like pink powder everywhere. Even though it's not that bad, um, I just want to get rid of that before I uh, start filing and stuff. Now, this just smells like any other activator. And this brush is pinking up, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but just a little. And there's like pink here and yeah. It is a very, very happy color, very Barbie-like. But so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this a couple minutes to set. And uh, then I'm gonna wash my hands and file and come back to you guys. Okay guys, so these are filed and uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep saying it, but I'm pretty impressed. So um, I could just top coat them, of course, but I do want a tiny bit of accent. So um, just quickly gonna clean these nails and put on a nice white sticker. So I've got these and these actually have tiny blue glitters in them. So I figured, you know, why not? And I think I'm gonna be using these on my thumb. Let's see how that looks like. Oh, these are the ones that are falling apart. Wait. Oh, ruining him. Let's see. Okay. Let's try this with a butterfly. <clears throat> not kill the butterfly. Hey. Yeah, I like that. Now let's attempt to do the same on the other and Looks kind of similar, <laughs> good enough for me anyway. And a butterfly that goes this way. I need to, yeah, I need to move it up a bit. Actually, a bit more like this. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna apply a top coat. I do have to say I liked the nails a lot before they were even filed. Just a matte look with this color. It was very, very nice, but uh, yeah, I need to get some more matte, good matte 
gel polishes because I have very good shiny polishes, but not the matte ones. Okay, so the color does get a lot more vibrant with the top coat, which is nice. Okay, so they're all top coated. The nails with the stickers I top coated twice just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And now it's time for the good part. Well, the good part for your fingertips to get back to rehydration. Or hydration, should I say. Um, my overall thoughts of this kit. I don't get all the negative reviews. Um, maybe they've changed their formula and I have a better um, base code. I don't I don't know. I really don't get it, but um, yeah, before I'm <coughs> gonna lose my voice altogether, I better stop this video short. So Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys all stay safe and healthy. And uh, I hope you guys come back soon. So thank you very much for watching. And see you soon. <laughs> Bye.